Hi there, my name is Jay and welcome to This Week in Hearthstone. Let's get right into it. So unfortunately for everyone, the scheduled early pack openings with the private fireside gatherings did not go as planned on Friday. This is not the first time during an expansion launch that this situation has happened, but this is probably the longest time that a pack opening has been this delayed. Almost seven hours later in the day, the patch started rolling out that fixed fireside gatherings and pack openings. While it was unfortunate that it did not go off as smooth as intended, isn't it awesome to see the team work to get the update rolled out on the Friday late afternoon so we had it for the weekend? Imagine if this was the post office and there was a cool package you were waiting on and it got held up a bit. On a Friday night, you aren't getting that package until tomorrow or until Monday. So thank you, Team 5. Listen, also, I'm thinking right now we can blame Hat, right? I haven't used that in a while. So, speaking of pack openings, take a look at my pack opening video in the description below. I live streamed it on YouTube and had so much fun that I plan on streaming more. Thanks for all that came out and said hi. A server-side hotfix, otherwise known as Patch 27.0.1, also rolled out on Friday with several updates to Battlegrounds, as well as some bug fixes. The patch seemed completely unrelated to the broken fireside gatherings, so no confirmation has been made either way, but blame hat. So, anyway, in the patch 27.0.1 notes, we see several changes and adjustments happened to Battlegrounds quest rewards, update to heroes armors, and various other bug fixes for both Battlegrounds and Hearthstone proper. Full notes about the patch are in the description below. We were able to see a lot of the new Titans cards in action this week, as Hearthstone invited a bunch of content creators to do theorycraft streams on Wednesday, and while I have not seen enough games or all of the cards played right now to make any major predictions, I do have some initial thoughts on how the classes were with these new cards. This is a complete list of all the classes, but not an ironclad assurance that what I'm talking about is accurate, so your mileage may vary. So for Paladin, it looks weak on the Earth and Golem interactions. Feels like a slower payoff than other opportunities there. Go mechs to start, because I do not see this interaction whatsoever in pure Paladin. Warlock looks great. The Sargeras Titan has a ton of potential, and I'm happy to say that I pulled Sargeras in one of my packs. Shaman is straight up busted and will be a problem for the future. It's a top tier class for sure, and I'm excited to see as it goes further along in the meta uh, how strong it will be. Death Knights, very interesting to see how the Plagues will take over their class identity. There's a lot of tweaks to the decks to be made that I saw, but I do not see their win rates dipping at all. Demon Hunter is funny, as I did not get a huge indication that this class was going to be busted or not. It's still way too early. There's so much refinement needed, but I love the class, so I'm hopeful for the cards in this expansion. Priest is going to be as annoying as it ever is each expansion to play against, but I'm watching some of the decks being played in the Theorycraft, and I'm intrigued. Uh, the games last way too long for me. If you're going against a priest, you're going to be there for a while. I'm not a huge fan of long-winded games, but I want to see what the meta has in store for this class. Druid is good, as always, and their turns are going to be absolutely nutty. The uh, Treant interactions are very cool, and while I feel the game times for Druid are a bit long, like Priest, I'm excited to play this class. Um, one thing I love is the golden animations on these Treant uh, tokens. I'm super excited uh, to be playing those, and I probably will be crafting all of the Treant tokens in golden. Hunter's very strong right now as it is, and the new expansion is not changing that one single bit. The Titan and Keeper cards will increase their power absolutely, and as a new Hunter aficionado, I am all into it. Mage is not what I thought it was going to be yet, and for transparency, I did not see a lot of games to make a huge determination one way or the other, but I do not know if the Titan will ever be able to stay on board for more than one turn. I know Mech Mage will be good, it's always been good, but I'm not sure about anything else right now. Since my wife is a Mage main, I want it to be super strong for her, but not stronger than any of the decks that I play. 
Rogue is a little bit meh. I'm kind of fine with it right now. I'm sure the experts with Rogue will make some great decks, but whether or not they will be more powerful than some of the other classes right now, I just don't see it right this moment. But again, again, this is super new. The meta hasn't even started yet, so it, I could be completely wrong. And Warrior is back, baby. It's been getting stronger as of late, but with the Titans cards on their way in a few days, we will see Warrior much higher on the tier list. Some nutty combos are in the pipeline for Warrior, and I am super happy to see it. I'll, all in all, I'm excited to start playing with the new cards of this expansion, and I hope you are too. I hope you all get all of the cards that you're looking for, and you all pull as many signatures as you can. And that's it for this week in Hearthstone. Until next time, see you in the tavern.